So the indications for an operation mm -hmm. would be a deformity um, causing interference with function or with appearance, pain, again affecting uh, the use of the hand, um, or a growth disturbance which we can predict will get worse with time. So if fingers starting to deviate off, we know it will continue to deviate further and further and so it's better to correct it earlier and hopefully prevent further deformity than wait till it's completely deformed before you intervene. Of course the other times we will intervene is if there is um, any suspicion of any cancerous change in any of the growths. So if there's constant pain, um, rapid growth of a bone, uh, or if the bone loses a lot of bone around the area of the growth, then we might be suspicious that there's been some nasty change to the type of growth within the bone, and then we will intervene in order to get a biopsy or to remove it. Okay, so uh, the main indicators would be pain to, to, to keep a, aware of, to be aware of? Yeah, so for the concern with this condition is that there is a risk because it's a abnormal growth of cartilage within bone that with any abnormal growth instead of just being an abnormal growth that's not cancerous it actually converts into a cancerous growth and the way we pick up that cancerous growth is that it becomes a bit more uncontrolled so that the growth becomes a bit faster than all the other growths next to it that it starts to erode bone on either side of the growth because it's growing faster uh, and because of that it becomes painful or may cause more um, discomfort or may cause more disability and so those are the sorts of things we're looking for which would indicate to us that something's not in keeping with all the other growths in the body um, or and may have undergone malignant transformational change. Um, a lot of the time we're wrong but it's better to be suspicious yeah. and biopsy yeah. something and discover it's nothing than to miss it. Mm -hmm. The problem with oleas is that the very appearance of a normal oleas growth is quite disturbed and so a pathologist who's not used to looking at it will often report it to be a cancer when it's not a cancer it's just oleas. And so an experienced pathologist and an experienced surgical team and unit need to be involved in the care of these patients um, so that they can correctly interpret the result and not do harm by overcalling a diagnosis um, or not doing harm by not suspecting a malignancy when it might happen. Okay, sometimes we've come across issues where patients have been um, wrongly diagnosed. Sometimes they may have multiple hereditary ecstasis. Yeah, um, that seems to come up from time to time. Yes, so hereditary multiple exostosis is, a, is a another congenital condition of bone that doesn't look like this. It um, has growths of bone next to joints but can cause similar mm. problems with deformity, stiffness, arthritis, mm. pain, shortness. And so the result of the, of the abnormality of, the, of growth is very similar. The outcome may be the same but the mm. cause is different. Yeah. Complicating matters patients with oleas can get exostoses. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes, so, um, so if you see an exostosis, it doesn't necessarily mean hereditary multiple exostosis, it might be oleas syndrome. Right, right.